Hey everyone, it is Saturday the 21st of May. The time is 5.15 p.m. and the temperature is 14 degrees. We are in Copenhagen and we just left the, well, I don't know how to pronounce that. You saw the name, cough, cough. I guess that means coffee. Uh, I have no Danish whatsoever. I have a little bit of Swedish, even that is pretty horrible, so. We're not going to do a lot of that, <laughs> um, or a lot of trying to pronounce things correctly. But it's a really lovely uh, place doing uh, vegetarian food and then some cake. You can see it there, the end of the street. And uh, Of course, uh, there's no better way to uh, start a Saturday evening than some cake. Basically, had cake for dinner. <laughs> so that's where we already also started and just see some of that great stuff there. There are a lot of really nice uh, restaurants, cafes, um, bars, all kinds of places around here. It seems like a very trendy area. Copenhagen has a really nice feel. Uh, I've always really, really liked it. And I'm visiting for three days to see... Uh, oh, this place actually has some quite nice dresses, but it's already closed. Anyway, I'm um, visiting for three days to see a uh, concert here. And this is actually my first time walking around town. I arrived earlier today, but it does seem very, very lively at the moment, and uh, that's good, of course. Paintings on the door. The buildings here remind me a little bit of a, especially the sort of a residential buildings, not right here. They remind me a little bit of the UK. I think it has a really nice feel as a city. And although I don't know the city, or I don't remember the city so well, I've been here a few times, but not in the sort of a recent, recent past. across here. Just testing at the same time as we wait for the light to change. Quite a few. Sorry, <laughs> quite a few little shops around here, and people do stop to uh, look at the windows quite a lot, which is fine. Yeah, I was saying I don't know my way so well, but we'll make our way. of a party feel around town, town on a Saturday evening, I guess. And uh, you will notice straight away that there are quite a number of uh, bikes around as well, which is a feature of the city. A lot of people do commute by bike. These are bus stops here. It's also a very good public transport system. Yeah. I took a bus 
just do the little cafe from around the uh, central railway station area. And uh, now we're walking back pretty much the same route. It's the uh, airport bus as well. We'll see how this goes with the uh, trolleys coming through. Um. Interesting thing, it's been a pretty cold day. Started out at around 10 degrees. It's not by any means very warm. And uh, a lot of people are still. Well, they've decided it's summer. I've seen the same in Finland now. It does seem a little bit crazy when it's actually uh, fairly cold. There are a lot of really beautiful streets with lots of uh, bars and restaurants around. And I'm sure I'll have time to explore some of them in the coming uh, days. And it's lucky that Walking is actually one of the best ways to get around town anywhere, so this is a perfect tourist thing to do. Look, the only house on the other side, the restaurant there. So, as a city, you'll notice there's a lot of uh, water around. There are canals and river. And we're just coming to the bridge here where we cross it. It's really beautiful. I saw some people uh, out on little swan boats earlier. Some of the shops are really uh, quite quirky. Oh, I think that was a little dog uh, that was being uh, transported by the uh, cyclists. It's very cute. You'll see a lot of children being uh, having their sort of own transport system behind the bikes here. Almost like a box behind the bike. I've seen some of those trans or sort of. Uh, I don't know if they're built here and then brought over or if uh, if people have just copied it. I think it's a Danish invention to have a, so almost sort of like a sidecar for your bike, for your kid. So this is really nice. People have those one swan boats over there. I think there's a little restaurant or cafe that you could basically sit over the water there because really beautiful buildings lining the waterfront here mm. on the other side as well the views are just amazing I'll have to do a water sidewalk definitely it's a very beautiful city with that kind of historic feel as well so look at the buildings and uh, how things look. It has actually been raining today. When I arrived it rained. And uh, it's getting better all the time. We'll see how good it gets. Definitely now we can see some blue skies as well. Really 
Great idea. I think even some cherry trees on the other side, maybe. <coughs> Excuse me. trees are on there are amazing with the flowers I think they're basically all the other side here is lined by these massive trees really beautiful and you could of, of course continue on the water side there I think we'll make our way uh, across here. It's really green this time of the year. I think oh, we'll cross here. I think there is a park not too far. <laughs> that we can go into and have a look. It looks really beautiful. As I was uh, taking the bus by earlier, so I think that would be really nice to wander into. I guess uh, some of these places and the shops here as well are closing a bit earlier. Oh, this is cool. Really quite like this. Yeah, there are a lot of really uh, unique looking little shops here. They've got Moomin lamps, I think. Some pretty cool Moomin socks as well. Very colourful. $1 but yeah, it does seem like this area specifically is not very happening on a Saturday as it gets towards 6 p.m. Close, uh, all the shops have been open earlier. Look at these, so pretty. It's a lot of really, really pretty cafes and restaurants. Even this place, I think, is still open when I was going past here earlier. But we'll get to the park in a moment. These city, older city buildings are just really, really, really nice. They give the uh, city a really sort of <laughs> what to me is a, of is like a traditional European city center. And you have these details like the building behind me. Very beautiful top of the building. So it's a really nice, uh, nice city center to walk around. It has a lot to see, and uh, the spaces are really uh, very pretty. And a lot of them also have outside tables, although on a colder day like this, this is what I was talking about, transporting stuff and little people and dogs on one of those. 
yeah, it has a very nice feel with a lot of uh, really nice uh, places to sit and look at people. Always good. I'm wondering if I should make a turn here, but this is a really lovely, lovely, lovely street as well. Looking down here. Well, I'll come back to it maybe. If I can remember what all of the nice places are. It's a little bit tight on this uh, pavements here, especially with the uh, construction on the side, bikes on the other side. But then again, it's kind of nice to have the option for the bikes. Oh, this is a nice area that I also saw earlier with lots of restaurant space outside. So maybe we can uh, peek in. That's very really nice outdoors terrace. It is a bit cold for it. Well, I think they also have a market, not just a, not just a terrace. Wow, oh, this looks really nice. Look at that, look at the colors. A lot of uh, things, uh, flowers, and uh, I think some cake and things inside as well. Definitely need to come back here and explore the inside as well. Very pretty and so nice if you're local, get all your vegetables and herbs. And uh, well, just look at all of this. Continuing on with cake, jelly drop, some really, really nice looking stuff here. It always felt like, uh, especially the uh, bread in Denmark is uh, in Copenhagen. I haven't really traveled that much elsewhere here, but it's very, uh, very, very nice. Yeah. Have a look at all of the stuff they have in there. I think it's a larger area going behind there as well. But really nice to see. And what a lovely backdrop as well with the uh, buildings over there. Yeah, we'll have to go back and explore a little bit more, I think. Starbucks, which I think 
if Finland has it, then it has to be almost everywhere now. They got always, pretty much always the last people to get most chains, which is not always a bad thing, by the way. It's not a... Not automatically bad to avoid big chains in the city centre. But maybe the reasons are not so great. Reasons being that it's very difficult to uh, run a business successfully and bring something like a chain over. So at the station. store. Oh, it's just a... No, it's just a premium reseller. And although I think... This looks interesting. I think I'm still going to make a turn here. I wonder what the uh, old building is. It's Coffee Collective. It looks much older than just uh, what it is today. And there are some lovely smaller streets going on from here as well. which I'm sure I'll get to explore once I get a little bit more familiar with the city. Hopefully tomorrow I'll do something, walking some shopping streets on those areas. That should be uh, fun to explore. a little bit disorienting here. They are this kind of elegant well very modern type of flights looks like. I wonder if I have to go to the corner there. I probably don't want to be jumping in front of the buses there waiting at the station. I've just missed it, so... We'll wait for a bit for the light to change. So I kind of want to make my way towards the uh, greenery there, to the park. Just walk the side of the park. And then we're not actually that far from uh, the city center, so, well, we are in the city center, but where I'm heading. So I think that will be the perfect length for this walk as well. <laughs> I think they're even using their 
a lot carriage thing to uh, help mom a little bit for that family. <laughs> kids are walking and uh, yeah that's a good arrangement it seems to me who doesn't want to do that anyway there's some music coming from somewhere I wonder oh it's a bar bus so I guess these people are on a bus dancing and probably uh, yeah drinking there you go it seems like you don't want to have too much to drink uh, as the bus is moving but uh, maybe that's a maybe that's a way to keep yourself to a limit if it's otherwise difficult it's definitely a uh, a party feel coming from the bus and it's quite remarkable if you're not used to it how many bikes there really are reminds me of uh, living in Oxford where bicycle would be your choice of transport most of the time and because every, everyone is cycling it becomes a bit safer because everyone the cars and the buses and everyone else knows to expect a lot of uh, cyclists around So this looks really, really stunning. And I want to have a little bit of a detour into this uh, park here. Let's have a look at the uh, other side before we go. I really love these buildings. Can you see this a little balcony on the very top there? With a couple of chairs and things. That must be so nice to sit there in the summer. This is beautiful. This is a pretty stunning park as well. And the flowers are already blooming for the most part. Oh, is that a heron? It's just quite the fun. Chilling there with everyone else. It's a really, really, really nice uh, green space. In the middle of the city with the lake as well beautiful and people are spending time making use of it which is always so nice to see i think the uh, statue on the other side there is a reasonably famous one at least it's uh, mentioned on guidebooks and things this one I haven't seen, could well be a famous one. <laughs> oh, there are quite a few of them along the way as well. It's really beautiful with these uh, big trees. I think we have some really nice flowers as well at the top there. And I'm sure if it was even a little bit more warmer day, there would be even more people here. Kind of a centerpiece here from uh, It's really quite nice with the flowers. It's already further along compared to uh, Finland, definitely. 
hope I can make it all through here. I think that's uh, some games being played there. It's super pretty. I think there is a gate here. Might just uh, make my way. Back to the uh, normal street. And the lake continues on on that side, of course, but it would have been a little bit of a way to uh, go out. It's a very lovely park, though. And on the other side, we have more sort of these impressive older buildings. It is really impressive how much people are using the bikes. Yeah. But I think pretty much next to every uh, every walkway like this, there's going to be a, almost like well, here, here you have two lanes just turning and going straight just for the bikes and then separate for the cars makes it so much easier to do that so I guess this would be a maybe one of the main gates to the park and I wonder if I should be uh, heading that way guess I can cross here if I just check for the bikes it's a uh, a little bit different that they have uh, the lights for the pedestrians are always for the stretch that you're crossing now so it's not for the whole um, length for example now I've just crossed and now there's another light that could could basically be red right here sometimes even another one in the middle so like there you have three one being green and others being red so again it's just sort of blindly uh, keep walking I'll cross here because I think I want to end up on the right side of uh, this street and here we go over this green So I wonder, that's a really, really, really beautiful building by the way, I saw that on my way over and with the green growing on the building as well, it's very, I really like it. I do think I want to uh, cross one more time and end up on the 
other side where there will be the uh, I guess uh, main station and the uh, Tivoli amusement park. It's gonna be straight ahead. But I think I do want to end up on this side. We'll see. <laughs> I think this boulevard is also named after the H.C. Uh, Andersen. That's boulevard under his name. It's a little bit more grand, so it's one of those places where it looks like you're going to make more progress in the time that you have. But you can already see Tivoli at the distance, some of the... Uh, attractions there people just going after one of those things that's going to drop you and then something else also at the background it's quite a fun and you can park it has that kind of a older feel but in a good way i really like it and of course it has entertainment like music and things i think it will be a place that i'll go and, and record a walk in but not today it does have um, an entrance fee, even if you're not going for any of the uh, any of these uh, actual uh, how do you say it attractions? They're not machines, are they? I've forgotten the word. Anyway, even if you're not going to them, that would cost you extra. But then uh, you still have to pay an entrance fee, which is not a huge huge sum. But it means that I'm. Uh, planning my visit for when there is some music. finishing this. If we had continued we had seen a Scottish pub and uh, on the side street there that we might actually uh, go to. They have a neighboring uh, English and uh, Irish pub so I wonder if they're owned by the same same people who had a sense of humor or if it's a sort of a situation where they're really really competing for customers. Copenhagen, I think, also has a lot of uh, breweries. I, that would have been one, probably, called Compost. So, uh, definitely something. <laughs> definitely something to check out if you're into that kind of thing. It will be good here, probably. I just want to see this building here. It's very uh, colorful, even from the distance. Oh, I think it's a theater. very unique looking uh, place. Seems like it's a movie theater. But this area in general I think looks quite quite nice. Across here. Oh, it's, it's also has something. Dinner party. Something to do with the circus as well. I think it says music at the top of this building, so. 
Is that a musical? Oh, I think it's like a dying and a water show type of thing. I don't know. It's a circus building. Is that what it says? My, uh, like I said, my language skills are not something to brag about here. It's a show, dinner, and a nightclub. I'll turn in a moment once we're uh, once we're through the crossing here. There we go. Looks quite striking, and people have definitely uh, dressed up to go as well. <laughs> I think that's a couple of uh, amplifiers going somewhere for Saturday evening. <laughs> it's quite fun. We have a bodega, and then Cafe Vivaldi, which looks very, uh, very nice. With the, I th that would be heaters. This is Tivoli's entrance now. So I will go and record a walk there as well. Um, I think the music is tomorrow afternoon. I'll do that. I'll probably come back for some fireworks later tonight, but uh, that will be after I've been to see some blues music at a place called uh, Motro, very well-known blues place in Copenhagen. So it might be a bit late for me to uh, record then, but there will be fireworks for the uh, Queen's 50th anniversary, I think. Actually looks like some important people are coming because people are lined up and there's a... If I'm right, there's police guarding the entrance to Tivoli with some uh, people in suits lining up there. I have no idea what's going on. I'm really, really just a tourist here. But they are really uh, sort of making sure the crowds stand by and uh, keeping them to one side. So I imagine someone's coming. Yeah, there's a uh, traffic police has also stopped traffic on this side. And there's the limousine, a limousine. I don't know if that's the important person, but maybe that's just the Saturday evening in limousine. They wanted to uh, roll by as well, I don't know. <laughs> So it does seem like something's happening around here, however, um, I'm not sure what that something is or whether we could have a peek at it. So I'm going to just say thank you so much for joining me for what I think was a really nice walk to Copenhagen, one of my favorite cities in Europe, although I do have many. Um, it's a really, really great place in many ways and I really love the cafes and the sort of uh, restaurants and everything and I think we can see more of that hopefully I'm gonna keep recording over the next couple of days as I also go to a concert <laughs> visit a couple of places um, things that I've planned but I will definitely walk around it's uh, something I love to do when I'm away as well so I'm going to uh, keep an eye on this I guess for a little bit but uh, I won't keep recording and uh, if there's anything worth knowing then uh, I'll just add it to the end probably nothing so thank you so much for uh, there is a car turning now <laughs> thank you so much for coming along I hope you enjoyed it if you'd like to see more or you'd like to see my other videos from Copenhagen then um, please do subscribe to the channel that's much appreciated and uh, there are some bells as well now as the car here turns This might be someone important, or at least it stops there. There we go. Well, we are quite far away, but I think That was what people were waiting for. A 
So in any case, <laughs> thank you so much for uh, joining today and I hope I'll uh, see you again soon.